hello to the camp. I hope y'all have fared well this week during this uh, bad weather we've had. It's been terribly cold in this part of the country and uh, pretty much in the region. Quite a bit of snow and ice. On January the 10th at about 6.32 p.m., a legend and an icon in the world of the long rifles went to meet his maker. He was 82 years old and that man was Herschel House. Those of you that are new to muzzleloading, traditional muzzleloading, may not be familiar with him, but it would uh, do you well to learn some about him. He was a <coughs> builder of some fine rifles in a, a school that called the Woodbury School. And basically, to me, what that was, it had the uh, butt plate and butt stock of an early Virginia rifle, and not necessarily the thinness, but more the architecture as far as the uh, front end and the trigger guards and stuff of a mountain, Tennessee mountain rifle or a southern rifle. And he was also a very, very talented artist as well a knife maker and an engraver. Herschel got his interest in uh, muzzleloading when he was a teenager. He was cleaning out a, a neighborhood lady's barn and uh, came across an old half stock squirrel rifle that belonged to, uh, I believe, the lady's father or grandfather. And he finally got up the nerve to ask the lady uh, how much she wanted for it, and she gave it to him. So it just took off from there, and he wound up over the years not only building long rifles, knives, he was a, a blacksmith, Along with his brothers Frank and John, some of their work has been seen in movies like uh, Master and Commander, and as well as uh, The Patriot. So it's it's a shame that the world lost a, a talented artist as that. But the good thing about Herschel, he was uh, very very free with the knowledge or sharing the knowledge that he had with other people. He also, of course, he made a living doing it. He did a lot of seminars for, like, I believe, Western Kentucky University and places like that uh, to pass that knowledge along. And he also had uh, classes at his uh, home and shop in Woodbury, Kentucky. But the, the good thing about Herschel, he wanted that legacy to be passed on, so things are set up that his classes will go on, and there's a lot of one talented young man that comes to my mind is Jonah Kane. He's a very, very good knife builder and it's just been in the last three, three, few years he's really taken off and he went through one of Herschel's classes to make himself better. But anyway, it's a a sad day in the traditional muzzle-loading world. Uh, there may never be another one like Herschel. But I hope you're not familiar with Herschel. You'll, there's a few videos on YouTube uh, Kentucky Field and if they interviewed him years ago for their show uh, and he's made a couple three videos on his own channel and he's also uh, shown or, or mentioned an article in the Foxfire 5 book so I encourage you to learn as much as you can about Herschel and I think once you study the architecture it's like rifles you'll really enjoy it. As always thank you for watching Keep your powder dry, mind you top notch.